We now want to get on with our studio interview. We want to discuss the state of politics in the country, but taking a keen look at the mountain politics. And to help me with this discussion tonight, I'm joined by the Laikipia County Governor, that is Ndiritu Muridi. Thank you very much for joining us, Moshimua. It's my pleasure Let's, to be here. Thank you. Let's begin by focusing on the sad frustrations that the head of state is currently facing. And we saw one of his close allies, that is Ngujiri Wambugu, say that as of now, the head of state is frustrated with leaders from the Mount Kenya region. Of course, owing to the fall of the BBI, and also we now currently have leaders who are vouching for the rights of the people of the Mount Kenya region, the very same rights that were in the BBI bill. Do you feel that those very same leaders did a disservice to the people of the mountain for not vouching for the BBI that had their interests? Um, well, firstly, um, the BBI process was stopped by court, not by, uh, I mean, the, the, the something like 43 or 44 county assemblies had passed it. Yeah as had the Houses of Parliament. So it is actually the courts that um, uh, put a temporary halt to this process. Um, certainly, there are leaders who seemed opposed yeah. or, or spoke uh, negatively of BBI, um, primarily because they were trying to attack the promoters or in fact, no, not really quite the problem. We were trying to attack the handshake mm -hmm. between the president and, and uh, uh, the second prime minister of the republic. Um, so th that's, that's uh, you know, the reason. Yeah. So, of course, it's, it's the hate of, of hypocrisy yeah. for the same leaders <laughs> to purport to prom or to promise yes. this is some of the very things that were contained in the, in the BBI. Um, the process uh, is, 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 is still in court. Okay. Um, the a number of, of, of parties have approached the Supreme Court to make certain determinations. Yeah. Because, for instance, the idea that there are eternity clauses, to my mind, is flawed. If you say there are eternity clauses, what you're, what you're actually inviting is revolution. Yes. You are saying that only violent revolution can bring about constitutional change, and I think that is quite uh, bury, <laughs> honestly. Um, also, the idea that uh, you know uh, political leaders have nothing to do with the making of the constitution, nothing could be further from the truth. All right. Most constitutions in the world are ceasefire documents written as people try are trying to stop fighting. Okay. Yeah. So looking at how the BBI process was sold to the people of Mount Kenya initially and looking at some of the gains that the mountain was supposed to receive. You're looking at an extra 53 billion annually and also extra constituencies in the tune of 30 new constituencies. Looking at that and probably how things have, fold, have come to be as of today, do you feel like the people of the mountain and considering you do a lot of rounds in that region do you think there's a change of mind in regards to this as i said i think those who tried to oppose the bbi yeah. were in fact not really opposing the bbi they were opposing the handshake okay. and with it uh, they, they were trying to oppose uh, Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. uh, that that you know if the bbi succeeded uh, then possibly Laila would be seen as the person, you know, in partnership with the president who has delivered these uh, goodies, quote unquote, yeah. to the region. And I think that's why those leaders uh, were opposed to it. Okay. Uh, because look, what, what other logical explanation can there be for somebody saying they don't want more resources? Yeah. I mean, what, 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 other, what other explanation uh, can there be yeah. for somebody saying they don't want equality? All right. Fair yeah. enough. Governor, you form part of the four governors that have so far endorsed Raila Odinga's presidency. And at the end of the three-day tour, you concluded that tour as being successful. And owing to how 
Raila Odinga has been sold to the mountain in the previous years. Could you kindly paint to us this picture of successful? Well, look, um, you know, I think you've seen the images from today. Yeah. We started out in Nanyuki. Uh, we had topovers at Narumoro, at Chaka, uh, at Karatina, at Sagana, at Makutano, uh, at Keno, at Wetevie, at uh, Gidurai, yeah. and also Juja. In every one of those stops, we, were, we received overwhelming positive support. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, people saying, oh, you know, you know Karibu and, 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 and ecstatic. I mean, you know, we, citizens are often very genuine. Yeah. If they don't want you, you will know by their reaction to you okay. that they, they don't want you. So <coughs> it was very, very successful. If you look at um, the conversation with micro and small businesses yesterday, yes. uh, hundreds and hundreds of small businesses in a, in, a, in a formal conversation, perhaps for the first time within your presidential hopefuls, and looking at how will we support micro and small businesses, yeah. not just by way of tokenism or by giving them labels, but actually improving their access to credit, improving their access to markets, supporting them with intellectual property protection, yes. business planning, and so on and so on. A very, very detailed afternoon going into that. And SMEs from Laikipia, for example, uh, making testimonials of how this kind of work has assisted them. Okay. Um, and looking at taking that national. Um, now, look, the Mount Kenya region is a $27 billion economy. Okay. It is the fourth largest economy in East Africa. It is actually bigger than 34 different African countries, including Mauritius, which people are fond of talking about, or Rwanda, yes. and Botswana. Okay. And I have been on record saying I don't agree with the idea that you put all of this in a wheelbarrow. How, okay. how can that be correct? <laughs> okay, okay, fine, yeah. Governor. Now, you've of course clearly stated that you support Raila's Odinga's presidency. And even just a few months ago, we saw one of the key influential leaders, SK Masharia, say very well that Raila Odinga needs to be sold very vigorously in the mountain to at least change the perception that has been there in the previous past. With the progress that you've been making on a scale of 10, where are we at this? About uh, between 7 and 8. Okay. Uh, look, first of all, fear has been sold to the people of Mount Kenya. All right. Fear that, oh, if you don't do this, this, you know. Uh, personally, because I'm elected independently, yes. I'm able to look at whichever uh, shade of leader and tell them, uh, speak truth to power and say that is, that is incorrect. Um, because look, it's not about slogans. If you want to meaningfully support the three million micro and small businesses in the Mount Kenya region, yeah. you cannot do it by slogans or by token. Okay. You have to do it practically. You have to do it by improving the access to markets. Right. Where are they selling their goods? We had testimony from uh, a, a young man uh, called David yesterday, Mureri Engineering, who makes dryers or maize dryers and other grains. Uh, he has been selling in Ghana, in Tanzania, and elsewhere, yes. exporting these dryers from Nanyuki. That's what he's about. All right. How do you en enable him yes. to be an even bigger manufacturer? Oh. Uh, we, you know, we, we, were, we, we got presentations from the guys in Yahururu who make the BJ50. Okay. Yeah. How do you well. scale them up? All right. In the interest of time, let me just probably have a look at one or two comments on the social media platforms. Let's at least pick something from Twitter and see what the viewers are talking about just as we wind up with this conversation on the very same. I believe you have this on your screens right about now. All right. Well, as they bring that up from the viewers we wanted to look at that but at least we'll take that as we wind up this conversation governor mm -hmm. before we wrap this up mm -hmm. deputy president has already put himself as one of the formidable candidates as well as right although he hasn't declared this officially but i want to give you this as the last question let's pick that comment from the viewer 
All right, this comes from uh, that particular liberal and national minor, and he says, before we listen and focus on 2022 politics, tell us how governor is strategizing on long-term security issues in Laikipia, development issues, drought, and farmer mitigation measures, bearing in mind Laikipia is a semi-arid county. 2022 elections are too far. Um, firstly, yeah. uh, water for production and feedlots. Um, we, my government is promoting feedlots as the new way of doing livestock farming so that you, you don't have to walk miles and miles looking for pasture. Yeah. And I'm glad to report that uh, we are beginning to be able to uh, 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 attract private sector investments uh, into feedlots. Uh, for example, there's a feedlot in Umuruti now. Uh, there's a couple of other new feedlots. Now what this does is, is remove the dependency on, uh, on, uh, on grass okay. that, is, that is fed by rain. Number two, uh, we, uh, myself, uh, initiated, but four counties, like Ipia, Baringo, Isiolo, uh, and Samburu, are the ATI initiative, uh, Maya Triangle Initiative. And we have recently raised a billion shillings yeah. in, uh, in discussions with Interior and Treasury to raise a further seven billion to do what? Firstly, to change educational outcomes. Because if you look at Samburu, yes. uh, you know, more than 52% of teenagers and young adults have never been to school of any learning. So they are, they, the alternatives available for them are really dire. Yeah. If you look at Tiati, more than 75% of people aged three and above, 75% have never been to a classroom of any kind. Okay. So economic alternatives are poor. We are also looking at investing in small towns, Sugutamalma, right. Ronyek, Churo, Tangul Bay, Roruk. Okay. Yeah? All right. Lewaso, Kemanju. Okay. To do what? To make them attractive for businesses. Because it is by attracting businesses that you can create jobs. All right. um, number three, to create incentives to attract these teenagers and young adults away from these uh, uh, this lifestyle into it back into education uh, okay. and, and we, we are quite certain we will succeed. Alright, well, Mishime, in just under 30 seconds, yeah. I know this is a long, long answer you might give, but you're supporting Raila Odinga this time round for his fifth sub at that particular seat, if I'm not wrong. Why Raila Odinga and not any other candidate? In just under 30 seconds. Track record, history, um, uh, commitment to certain ideals. Yeah. I do not know of many Kenyans who have been willing to go to jail yeah, for long stretches of time yes. because of what they believe in. And I think that is, that's the sort of leadership we require because the rest of it uh, is, is uh, sloganeering. <laughs> what you need are people who believe in yeah. certain ideals and who are willing to stand up for those ideals. I want to close with this. For example, this, this question about insecurity. Yeah. Yeah? In Olmoran and uh, Division, you will have noticed I sp have spent three weeks there in the front line with the Kenya police. Okay. Yeah, I don a jacket and we go to fight bandits because right. I believe in the security of the Lycipians okay. and I am willing to put my life down f because of that security. All right. Ideals. Machine. Thank you very much, Ideals, and that is why the governor is supporting, right, Honorable Raila Odinga on his presidential stub. Of course, we'll have you again when you have more time. I believe you've been up and down, so it's time for you to now go and get some rest. But thank you very much for creating time for us this evening. That was the like.